Hi guys! Welcome to another episode of Learn with Sir Glenn. So, for today's topic, we're going to have Geometric Mean. So, let's go! The concept of Geometric Mean is almost the same with the concept of Arithmetic Mean, except for this time, we're going to have a finite geometric sequence. For example, let's have 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and 64. On this finite geometric sequence, 2 and 64 are called geometric extremes, while 4, 8, 16, 32 are the geometric means. Using that example, we can say that geometric extremes are the first and the last terms of a finite geometric sequence, while the geometric mean are the term or terms between the first and the last terms of finite geometric sequence. So let's have this example. 1, 4, 16, 64, 256, and 1024. On this finite geometric sequence, 1 and 1024 are the geometric extremes, and 4, 16, 64, and 256 are the geometric means. So the number of geometric means will depend on the number of terms that you have on your finite geometric sequence. So you can have two geometric means, one geometric mean, three geometric means. For example, let's have 1, 9, 27, and 81. So on this finite geometric sequence, 1 and 81 are geometric extremes, and 9 and 27 are the geometric means. So we have here two geometric means since we have only four terms on this finite geometric sequence. Let's have another one. 25, 5, and 1. So for this one, 25 and 1 are the geometric extremes and 5 is our geometric mean. So we only have one geometric mean for this one. So obviously, identifying the geometric mean or means it's easy. You just simply look for the terms between the first and the last term. But what if you're asked to solve for the geometric mean of the given geometric sequence? So let's say you have 6 blank 24. You're asked to find the geometric mean between 6 and 24. So for this one, we're just going to use our formula for the geometric mean, which is geometric mean is equal to square root of a sub 1 times a sub 3. We all know that a sub 1 is our first term and a sub 3 is our third term. So for this example, a sub 1 is 6 and a sub 3 is 24. So all we have to do is to replace the values of a sub 1 and a sub 3 on our formula, which will give us geometric mean is equal to square root of 6 times 24. 6 times 24 is 144, so therefore our next equation is geometric mean is equal to square root of 144. So the square root of 144 is positive or negative 12. So notice that we have here two values. So you can have the positive 12 if R is positive and negative 12 if R is negative. So therefore, the geometric mean between 6 and 24 is either positive 12 or negative 12. 12. So if you're asked to find a specific geometric mean, let's say you're asked to have the positive 12, you just simply get the positive 12. Or if you're asked to find the negative geometric mean, you choose the negative. So remember that this formula is applicable only if you are solving for one geometric mean. Okay, so let's have another example. So let's say you want to find the geometric mean between 2 and 2. 12. So the same with what we did in our previous example, we're just going to use the formula geometric mean is equal to square root of a sub 1 times a sub 3 since we're only looking for one geometric mean. Okay, so a sub 1 for this one is 2, then a sub 3 which is the third term for this one is 12. So we just simply replace a sub 1 and a sub 3 on our formula, we will have geometric mean is equal to square root of 2 times 12. So 2 times 12 is 24. So geometric mean is equal to square root of 24. Since 24 is not a perfect square, we cannot get the square root yet of this number. So what we're going to do is just simply simplify your radical. So how we're going to do that? So we're going to look for the factors of 24. It can be 1 times 24 
or 2 times 12, or 3 times 8, or 4 times 6. These are the factors of 24. So what are we going to do is to pick one of the set of factors that have a perfect square. So for this one, we're going to choose 4 times 6 because 4 is a perfect square. We're going to express 24 as product of 4 and 6. Since 4 is a perfect square, we can get the square root of 4 and we can put it outside the radical sign. So that will give us positive or negative 2 square root of 6. So our geometric mean is positive or negative 2 square root of 6. Okay, so let's have our last example. So insert a geometric mean between 14 and 3. Although the problem is presented in a different way, so all you have to do is to make it this way. 14 blank 3 since we're going to insert a geometric mean between 14 and 3. So since we're looking only for one geometric mean between 14 and 3, we're just going to use the same formula as what we did on our previous examples, which is geometric mean is equal to square root of a sub 1 times a sub 3. For this one, a sub 1 is 14 and a sub 3 is 3. We're going to replace now a sub 1 and a sub 3 with 14 and 3 respectively. So we will have geometric mean is equal to square root of 14 times 3. So we multiply 14 and 3, then that will give us, 2 since 42 is not a perfect square, we're going to try to simplify our square root of 42. So let's look for the factors of 42. So we will have 1 times 42, 2 times 21, 3 times 14, and 6 times 7. So notice that among the factors, there's no perfect square. So therefore, we are going to leave square root of 42 as is. So therefore, our geometric mean is equal to positive or negative square root of 42. Okay, so that's it. We're done. Thank you for watching and I hope you have learned something from this video.